So this is how I uh, prepare my uh, yucca, yucca tuber. So in my home country we call it cassava, cassava root. But here in the uh, US is a uh, yucca tuber. So I'm going to show you how to peel the skin and uh, ready for my so first you need to top up the pan and also the other end. You make a slip. Be careful because the knife is really sharp. This is my second cassava, so I'm gonna show you it to you close up. So you, uh, you need to be careful of doing this because the knife is so sharp. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. Is a thick layer of skin, very smooth skin. After I take off all the uh, thick layer of the skin, so just make a slit and then poke your uh, end of your knife. it like this until you take all the skin some people are really expert of doing this it takes for them like probably seconds to finish this uh, whole thing but it's been a while uh, I didn't do this when I was young back home I'm expert at this but now I sort of uh, forgot it So after like 10 minutes, this is how uh, it looks like. So if there's imperfection, there's a pocket to unite, to unite, then I just take it out. Then uh, I'll cut this in half. I'm 
feel there is a um, like a strain so that one is not good to mix it to our, our puto so I need to cut this in half and take it out the strain This one need to be taken out. If you can, because these are hard. It's not that pleasant if I use those. So those are three uh, tubers. And yeah, the small one is defective, so I didn't mix it here. So in this two is two tubers, the big tubers that I showed it to you. So I'm going to put it to my blender and process it until it becomes very coarse uh, texture. And then I will squeeze the juice and make it a uh, so after one minute of our process, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna scrub it now. I'm gonna scrub it down so that um, I will uh, chop it finely. I want it uh, fine, very uh, not very fine, medium, medium fine. So, so I will add up uh, one foot cup of water just to keep it going because. Uh, stuck in the bottom and it won't move so to keep it going I need to add water and process it for another 2 minutes so after additional uh, 2 minutes and it's getting uh, medium fine so this is uh, what I like and I'm going to squeeze out the liquid process it to become a uh, powder. So I'm uh, I'm starting to uh, squeeze the liquid out of this uh, mix. I'm using a mesh, a uh, clothing, actually a cloth mess, mesh. So you can use a uh, cheesecloth but uh, I don't have any in my Kitchen, so I'm using this one. This I made this as my uh, mask, but I'm not using it. So this is my mesh. So I'm gonna put a handful. So I'm gonna squeeze it until everything is uh, dry. So out of uh, two, uh, I'm uh, separating the one cup of uh, the mix because I make a peachy peachy in this butter and this uh, grated cassava. So this is for my uh, peachy peachy one cup. See the side, and uh, I will make it later. So, this is my uh, finished product. 
the one that is already squished out the liquid the uh, consistency should be like this it's like grainy not super dry but um, it's dry enough so that you can mix your sugar and your uh, coconut I have probably two cups of this so I'm gonna measure it so this is one cup So I have two cups of um, dry mix out of uh, two tubers. So I have two cups dry mix and I have um, one cup. I have another uh, one cup for my uh, peachy peachy that I will make it later. Okay, so to make my uh, toppings, this is our. Um, one cup of uh, coconut flakes. It's uh, sweetened coconut flakes. And then I'm gonna add uh, one cup of uh, sugar. It's a brown sugar, so I label it. So this is one half cup. Cook it in a medium heat and turn my stove around 6. Make sure that um, you keep an eye on it because you don't want to burn the uh, sugar and the coconut. So, this is one cup of uh, sweetened coconut and one cup of brown sugar. And uh, I know this one is a uh, too much for my two cups of uh, cassava mixture but uh, you can uh, store it in a refrigerator and it will last for six months and you can use it as a peeling for a pandico so I will add one tablespoon of uh, butter and uh, also a teaspoon of vanilla to make it uh, Bukayo. This is a uh, sweetened coconut and brown sugar. After two minutes of cooking, I uh, mixed already my vanilla and this is my one tablespoon of butter. And uh, I just make it, mix it to keep stirring so that uh, the sugar won't burn. And if you prefer uh, less sweeter. You can just add one half cup of uh, brown sugar, but I like my uh, bokayo a lot of sugar, so that's why I put one cup of sugar. But uh, it's up to you if uh, you want it less uh, sugar, you can uh, just add one half cup of brown sugar. So I'll just uh, cook it until all the sugar is sold and then it is done and this is gonna be my toppings for my cassava food instead of cooking I'll turn off my heat and this is what it looks like the sugar is melted so to avoid burning the uh, sugar you need to uh, transfer it to a cool container because the uh, saucepan is still hot so you don't want to burn the sugar so you need to transfer it and uh, keep stirring keep mixing so that uh, it won't stick to Harden. So you need to be, uh, you need to let it separate. So keep mixing it until it cool down. Of 
for about five minutes. Because if you don't know, mix it when it's cool down, it'll be hard. But um, you can just keep on mixing. So it is cool now, it is cool down. About 10 minutes of my mixing. So this is my uh, photo mold. I uh, improvise it because I don't have the uh, actual uh, mold. So this is a uh, aluminum foil container, and I make a hole. Just uh, three of them because I don't have two cups. So I heated my uh, steamer. I put uh, two quarts of water inside. is floating so I will let it steam at the boiling point and I put my plane into high setting so now I'm going to mix my photo so I'm assembling my photo mix so this is my grated cassava that I squeeze out the liquid and the texture really looks like this so I'm uh, Mixing it with uh, one cup of sweetened coconut milk. I'm uh, sorry, coconut flakes. So, one cup of uh, sweetened coconut flakes. And I mix it thoroughly. Make sure that I uh, use the mixture is crumbly, not uh, not lumpy. I'm adding up my uh, bukayo to the mixture. Sorry, but so I'm adding it to the my uh, coconut and cassava mixture. So this is going to be my sweetener for my photo. Uh, Make it sure that it's cooled down and it's uh, crumbly. So we mix it like this. Mix it thoroughly. So my bukayo is kind of rough mixture. See? It's not uh, fine, so um, I process it in the uh, food processor, I mean blender, and now it's uh, a little bit uh, medium fine. So if your mixture is uh, rough like this, you need to be uh, processed and texture should be like this to uh, put it in your uh, photo. This is my mold, so I'm going to put a little bit, don't push the uh, mixture, so just like that, and a handful of uh, tapings, about one spoon. need to be airy because uh, the photo won't uh, cook if it, it's dense. So, like this.
this, so I have three photo. Uh, so my water is boiling, and I'm going to uh, start steaming my cooker. Steam it for 30 to 35 minutes, so I'm covering it. Set my timer for 35 minutes. Okay, so after 35 minutes, my puto is done. So this is what it looks like. And uh, to make it sure that it's cooked, you need to push it and if it pumps, this is done. So 35 minutes to the, and then uh, I'm going to uh, turn off my heat and look at that, it looks good. So I'm uh, transferring it to my plate. Mm. Look at that, it's yummy. Smells good. So this is my finished product out of a two tuber, cassava root, three potu. It looks so delicious. And so it's easy to make. It's just take time, but uh, it's worth the effort. So once again, thank you. Yaka cake, same 